Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, got another tool here I want to put in front of you. The funny thing about this tool is a lot of people are not really feeling this tool. And let me explain the reason why. I think the reason why people are not feeling this tool is I have a feeling it's because the actual cost. Now, the cost is um, for one time cost of ninety nine dollars. And let me tell you what it does for ninety nine dollars. Actually, let me let me just start over. This is a tool called Eureka. Right. And there will be a link below. But let me kind of talk to you and kind of tell you what it what it does and or if it makes sense for you. Now, I can promise you, you will not see the value in this tool if you are not a content creator or if you don't create ebooks you don't create content you will not see the value in this tool now there's a lot of things you can do there's been a lot of tools that come out you can do your own research you can do your own pulling of information you can do your own scraping of information you can do all that all those things take time but if you are a content creator you really want to spend a lot of time creating content right that's where you make your money so let me give you a couple of things that jump out first of all let me take you through what this tool does so this is what this is. You can search search your um, your course topic here. I put in the course marketing, obviously, right? So I can niche it down if I want. The more you niche down, the more the less it's going to give you in your return. So I just put uh, marketing here. You can do the topic area. You can do the platform. You can do all those things as well. So um, what you can do is. You can search by platform and I'm going to show you that a little bit later. You can search by enrollment you can search by rating and you can search by price, right? And what this does is it goes back. I think it's about two years of trend of different courses. So I put in marketing. They're telling you right now, Hey, based on available public data, um, because you can use any scraper tool for public data, right? If it's public data, public domain, you can you can kind of search and pull with most of the scraping tools that are out there. And when I say scraping tools, those are tools that are designed to kind of go in and pull the extract the information off of the web page that you may see. I may put a link in some of the other tools that I use, Captain Data being one. Um, I actually use Hexomatic as well. So those two, I'll put links in, to those videos as well in here as well. But this is the summary. For marketing, I found 3,303 3, total courses, total students, uh, 16,836,814. Now, that's a lot of students, right? But it's searching eight platforms. It has some of the major um, platforms that are out there that you'll be able to see. Once we go to platforms, you'll be able to see. It's searching across 40 niches, right? And the average price of a course is $15.50. Now, these are your niche here. These are different niches, 40 different niches, marketing being one, business being one, development being one, but they're all marketing, right? That's the keyword market. Then they have subcategories, digital marketing, content marketing, social media marketing, video and mobile marketing, data science, so on and so forth. Then there's a topic and then it has the duration and time, right? Then it has estimated earnings because what they basically did was they multiplied the price by how many students had taken the course and they kind of come up with this estimated earning of this course. So out of all of them, this one ranks to be the number one course. Now, if you wanted to, and it's on the platform, uh, Edimity. Now, if you wanted to, you can go one step further. You can click on the course. You can highlight over it and tell you what it is. It's 12 courses in one is the way they're marketing it. But if you click on it, it gives you, um, it actually gives you another breakdown of the actual course. And so what you're going to see here is you're going to see the whole outline, right? You're going to see the market research that's done. Uh, that's the introduction is market research, make a website, email marketing. This is a full blown course, Twitter marketing, right? This is a full blown course. And this course they're saying has had over 592,000 um, students um, and they're rating it of 4.5. And again, just a 22 hour um, course. Yeah, 22 hours. So 22 hour course for 1399. 
I don't know. You may have a course that's probably you think worth more, but this is the going rate and this is something that you can look forward to. What I love about this is if you are stuck and you want to create some type of course on marketing, you can get an idea and see what these other courses are giving you, right? And you can see the example of what type of courses that you yourself can create. Now, anyone that knows, anyone that creates courses knows that you have to create a course from scratch. You don't know what some of your outline should be, what other people have. If this does nothing else, you don't have to steal it verbatim, but it should definitely give you an idea of what you think your course should have in it or what some of the other courses have in them as well. So that gives you a good idea. It has an opportunity score. Let me kind of explain to you what they're saying here. They're saying, hey, they use an algorithm with ratios that weight enrollment per course or the likelihood of getting a minimum of 2000 enrollments per course, a 70% student to course ratio, discounting free courses, plus a 20% weighting for search trends. So they actually show you what the search trends are, what people are looking for, um, back in 2020, uh, people are looking for, there's about 84 courses that was searched for on March 29th and so on and so forth versus March, March 6th or 7th. There's 93 people searching for it on uh, a search trend. Again, the graphic shows the demand over the past 24 months results on a scale from one to 100. 100 based on topics proportion to all searches of the topics. If a peak of 100 is hit, it would be the most popular search term when compared to every other topic. So just give you an idea, it has a massive list of opportunities. You can export it here, right? So then the next thing you can do is you can search by platform. You can say, hey, you know what? Let me look for all the courses on Coursera, right? And um, you could, uh, this is searching all the niches on Coursera right now. And this is what it's giving you all the niches here. You can go further and you can break it down. It says, Hey, listen, let me look at what they have in business. So I search business only courses, right? And this is on Coursera. I don't think the pricing is public. That's the reason why you don't get it here. I think you just get the rating and you get the amount of students there. So these are all the business classes and so on and so forth. I think, uh, Udemy has a, price you can actually see their price i think it's public so you can actually go ahead and do that there and it gives you the prices for most of them i think some of them are public some of them are not so this is what you have so you can search by platform you can go further and you can say hey you know what let me put a course let me do a course um content planner if i want to create a course from scratch i need course ideas i can do a I can do my course research by clicking here and then put down the save courses here and then look at some of the curriculum that they have there and put some of my course ideas down there as well. Now, this is one of the things that they, you have a limit on. You can only do 30 keyword searches per month. These are keyword searches. So I'm assuming this is a hard cost for them. So that's why there's a limitation to that. And they'll kind of give you, but we have a lot of, if you, if you know by now, if you don't know, there's a lot of tools out there that it can, you can get a lot of your keyword search, even free. It is even some Google tools that you can find and get your keyword search there. So this is not necessarily a game changer or anything like that. And then this is just a video kind of goes through how the actual overall course works, things of that nature. So this is the tool here. Again, this price, I think it's $99 now. You could search on any niche. Um, we can niche it down and say, you know what? Give me um, audio music. Well, there's only just one there. Let me get arts and design. Let's apply that, right? There's three courses. The opportunity score, there's a lot of opportunity in this. Great, might be competitive, but demand and trends say there's room for it, right? So there's a lot of searches on it, as we can see here, 93. And there's not that many, um, courses, only three courses, right? And the platform it's on creative live that we know of. So that's the niche of that. And if we wanted to get into something else, um, there's a lot, uh, even for digital marketing, let's apply that digital marketing is only 
there's only two really that they have in this particular niche that the niche is digital marketing. Um, this one's three hours. This one's one hour. No earnings, estimated earnings, estimated students here, right? And this is on the Learn platform. So again, you can do that. You can search by enrollment, right? How many people have enrolled? You can search by platforms. Again, I think Udemy has the most um, courses, as you can see, the most types of uh, different types of niches. They have the most there, so they are the largest on here. And I think there's only eight here now, and I think they're gonna be adding more soon. So there's ratings, and then you can search by price. So this is, again, this is, this is something that um, it may interest you, may not, but I wanted to do a quick walkthrough on it. Um, I like it, it's a powerful tool, if nothing else, just for creativity. Now you can, and now that they charge, what's throwing people off is, I think you can actually pay for a monthly or an annual plan. I think you can pay 70 bucks, 70 bucks a year on an annual plan. If you think you're gonna use this type of tool, paying for a one-time price uh, is definitely worth it, but they're gonna be adding more. They said they're gonna be adding a lot more things to it. But if nothing else, it gives you what the demand is. We can look for that, the trend. But I think the power in this tool, you can create eBooks, you can create, um, blog posts, you can create so many different things off of this particular um, setup, like digital automation, save time and get more done. This is a course outline, what are people doing, right? Um, this is the sales description copy, this is what people are using. These are the videos that's out there, automation, thank you, conclusion. They're offering bonuses, bonus lecture. You may say, hey, mostly everybody's offering bonuses, so I need to offer a bonus, bonus in mind. I think the average course is seven different modules. We're going to that. This gives, if nothing else, it gives you an idea of what people are actually creating. And this is only a tool. I think that if you're gonna do something long-term and be in this space long-term, I think this would be a good tool to, to look at. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. I have about three more videos I wanted to do, but this is a quick one I wanted to put together so people can take a look at it. Hope you're doing well out there. Take care, be, be safe out there. Goodbye for now.